devoted your whole career to taking up the cause of the downtrodden. I'll ask you a very fundamental question. Can art change the ills of society? So many people say that your painting is sold to the Defense Society people. Uh, your elites buy your work. No poor man takes it. No. But isn't it the elite who need this sensitivity? Yes, they, my painting oh, is that always the element of thinking. One painting was um, bought by Indian Consul General here in Karachi called Red Sindhian. You see, the Sindhi um, uh, atopy is composed in such a way that it is on the putt, putt means floor. What is the symbolism of the cap lying on the floor? Is it the... Uh, is the it respect and all those sort of things are floored. He said, you have one painting I put people here in our meeting at the foreign office and right in the center your painting was placed. Okay. The, your painting was the greatest diplomatic understatement. Okay. Okay. This is what he said. I don't get money from selling the painting. That is one of the reasons I got married and I have children. So I want regular income I for, think, them. for them. And that was with a little bit of freedom. That was simply by joining the teaching profession. I would like to have your views on what are the current contemporary artists doing. I think Ajahaz is okay. Salima is okay. Uh, you think Salima is okay? And her, just the two or three name, by name painter who are known to, through media or whatever the reason. But what is more important, their faces or their work? I think at present Salima's face. Because the work has really, you know, always been of, you know, sort of tepid mindedness. Allah, don't pass. Don't, don't, <laughs> no, don't, I mean, don't, come on. Don't, don't push me you to know? that extent. She is, she's a good friend of mine. And that and doesn't mean she's necessarily a good uh, painter. Uh, and I can't afford to because uh, they have the backing, they have the good friendship circle. But did they manage they to did crush you? Deliberate, they deliberately, yes, they did in Lahore. I left Lahore simply, you know, they were, I couldn't fight all alone with them. But why should I? I didn't want my painting to be, you know, in the president's house, in the prime minister's house. He begged me, the director general of Ministry of Culture, he have a Kaida Azam portrait. I said, I can make him. Do you allow me? Do you allow me? You want Sehwani. The portrait, 300 painters took part in it. And you want me also to join them. And who are those painters, if you can name a few, sir? All those people, including Gulji. Including the top leading painters who are painting Sherwani, Kaida Azam, Sherwani, Kaida Azam, Sherwani. Kaida Azam was my choice. What a frail body he had, what a difficult time he had. I can, today even, there are exhibition of portrait of Ben Azir. I said, I have a portrait here. But that Ben Azir is not glorified, just like uh, the other painting exhibition of a glory, for portrait of Ben Azir. But tell me one thing, are you comfortable with the fact that you have taken a back seat, you've been ousted by the mafia? There was a book written about the women painter. I said, don't put the compartment. They are painters. They are painters. They are not. Mardana. Mardana. And there the whole lot came after. You can ask Asif Nurani. He was there. He said, I am married person and I have already one wife at the home. So enough. There is not much blood left. So, but he says, they will leech you out from here. The only thing I said is that they, if you put this book, they were showing the book of Salima, a women painter in Pakistan. I said, no, so put all those women together and put one painting of Nagori on the women issue and say that which woman has done more work on women issue than the men. Looking at the art of Tasadduk Suhail and Nagori, would any of you really concur that art that seeks to point to societal norms is poor art for poor people? Well, if it makes our insight and consciousness any the richer, the answer is clearly in the negative.